So my name is Rebecca Smith and I'm here to give you an insight into why July Provision is so important for me and Simon who isn't there in the front row. Um, Simon is six and he's a mainstream primary school in our locality in Swords where I have to say he's part of a very inclusive school community. Simon's academic achievement now, even at this very young age, is very important for his independence in his later in his adult life. My wish for Simon is to give him the foundation in education so that he can progress into further education and employment, should he so wish, later on in his life. As we know, children with Down syndrome have a smaller working memory, which means that constant repetition and visual resources are needed to enhance their learning. I spend a lot of time every evening and where possible at the weekend um, revising what Simon has covered in school, either that day or indeed that week. This input is vital for his progression in education and I find that during even the shortest breaks from school, for example the Christmas break, that his progression is hugely noticeable to me. And this is where a July provision comes in for him and for all our children with Down syndrome. July provision will ensure Simon and his peers have continued learning and provide guidance and support for me as his parent from an educational professional to prevent his regression and to work with him through the summer months. July provision will give Simon every opportunity to reach his full potential. The long summer break is disruptive to Simon's routine, <coughs> which manifests itself that the month of September is spent largely readjusting to the school environment relearning and what was covered in the previous academic year rather than focusing on his new learning like his peers. <coughs> I feel that the current system for July provision is discriminating against Simon and his peers and leaving them at a significant disadvantage when they return to school in September. I'd like to finish by thanking you for having us here today. It was a great privilege and I urge you as our elected public representatives to support us in our campaign for the inclusion of children with Down syndrome in July provision. I urge you to look at Simon, look at his peers, look at their ability and their huge, huge potential and don't leave them behind. Thank you.